my way to my friend's house where I'm going to be like vlogging my day today just show you what I'm getting up to. I'm really excited for this vlog because I'm going to be baking today for the first time. I've never really baked before. I hate baking. I can cook, but when it comes to baking, I am very shit at it. So my friend's going to show me step by step how to make the perfect... I feel like we're baking a carrot cake. I don't even like carrot cake, but I'm excited. So I'm looking forward to you guys showing you how it turns out. I never understand. Why, why do you get stupid vehicles that just park in, like, the middle of... Well side of the road it makes it really harder for people to get through it just winds me up it just makes my day like just i'm like in one of it like do you know what today i feel much better than i did yesterday so i'm going to tell you guys a bit of a story on my journey so basically yesterday i've been out and oh, i've been out i got back and i was meant to be getting a parcel delivered but obviously i was good i wasn't gonna be home so i all i thought was there like if i'm not gonna be home they're just gonna take it to the drop-off center so you can just pick it up like sometimes they do it in a store where you can just go pick it up or whatever so i got home obviously bear in mind i already got an email in the morning saying your parcel will be delivered yeah okay then so i got home there was not a calling card because i'm thinking all right that's a bit weird like there should have been a calling card because like i already had an email saying my password was getting delivered so i logged into my emails and i went and he checked your pass has been delivered i went okay i looked everywhere because there was nowhere that they can they can leave it so i'm thinking hang on so i checked i went online checked tracked it and then it came up with delivered sign for i'm thinking right who the fuck signed for my parcel because i don't know any of this so i it said hp2 i'm thinking i i don't know what hp2 is i've never heard of that company and it's and, and he had someone's signature on it too i'm like okay so i try ringing hermy that company that i hate and i try ringing them but i keep getting this automated service like i don't want to talk to an automated service i want to talk to a real person i actually want to talk to somebody not everybody no fans like i know like everybody now deals with these tech things and whatever yeah i i i literally rather text somebody than but i want to talk to a real person and it just keeps cutting me off and cutting. so at that time i was getting really annoyed really pissed off i'm thinking you know what all I want is my fucking parcel. Like, I just need to talk to somebody about it. And then at the end, like, it says if you have any problem, you have to go on a Hermy, Hermy, whatever their name is, website and do a live chat. So I went on this live chat, and then the lady said, yeah, your parcel's been delivered to HP2. And I'm thinking, where's that? I don't know the company. Well, apparently your courier's done. And I said, all right, then, fair enough. My courier, apparently, I asked my courier to deliver it. No one fucking did it. It's maybe a stupid fucking person just, like, wasn't looking where they were going. Or just, like, first delivery. They said, oh, fuck it, I'll just deliver everyone's parcel here. And what annoyed me the most is, if I didn't check my emails, I wouldn't have known my parcel was delivered. So, this idiot thought he can deliver my parcel, but also not leave a calling card and not deliver my pass in the right place so i called the that company i went on google i searched for that company see where where about it is and obviously it was only like a couple of couple of things down the road a couple of like i think like it was only a couple of street down the road it's, it's a factory a couple of street down the road anyway cop down the road I'm thinking, hang on a minute, how did I mistake that factory to my house? Surely you should have known, hang on, that address doesn't say that on it. So I called the company and once again I had another stupid person on the phone and I said, look, can I just speak to the manager? I literally, by this time I am fuming, like I'm so angry, I felt like I was going to cry because I know like I was going to say, oh but the, like, it's not like I ordered just a small item, I like... I ordered quite a few items so I'm thinking fuck if they've lost my parcel or if someone stole my parcel um, how would I get a refund for my order or whatever 
So like obviously like I called the company and then spoke to Stig Burton and then they passed me to their manager and I said look I think my parcel was delivered to your company and then he said um let me just check and I went alright then he said what's your name so I told him my name he went um it's a pretty little thing it's a pink bag with unicorn or horse I said yeah that's my parcel and I went okay how where like because I didn't know where that place was and I went, how far away is that place? He went, oh, no, that's fine. Like, he said, I'm leaving work now, so I'll just drop it off for you. I'm like, you know what, they are some really nice people. And I went, oh, thank you. So, obviously, five minutes later, he knocked on my door and said, here's your parcel. And I was so grateful for that. Do you know what? It's a good job. If that was another person, they could say, oh, no, your parcel wasn't delivered here. They could have just kept it because I didn't do that, eh? like they could sell it on or whatever but i was very grateful so and then like i woke up this morning had an email from Hermie, feedback you know what you can do with that feedback you can fucking shove it up your ass because i am not doing a feedback and you know i want to write a complaint because what should have took me like maybe 15 half an hour just to speak to somebody to find out what happened end up taking me nearly two hours just to get just to find out what the fuck happened to my parcel so i'm not happy about Hermie. i really don't want to use them to be fair i didn't have to use them it's the company that sent my parcel use them and if i was ever to send a parcel to somewhere i would definitely won't be using them because i do not like them so i wasn't that happy bunny about that No, it must have been my seventeenth birthday because we went to Norwich. Mm. Yeah, that took us. Yeah. I love how the camera is only seeing you great carrots. <laughs> <laughs> the cupcakes are being made over here. <laughs> okay, I think you need to basically. I'll need to move it because they must be sick and tired of seeing my face. Okay, you can go back. I don't want to see my face, but I want to see the bowl. Get it off my face and put it on the bowl. Yeah, there we go. Can you see the bowl? Yep. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. There must be like girls sick of that. Like, God, can she move that stupid carrot thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get it. You're making a carrot cake. Like, move the carrot. Mmm. Oh my God, it's actually looking good. Can you lick it? Like, eat the. I will do it in a bit once everything's in it. Oh, I ain't got the carrots in there. <laughs> Carrot cake with no carrots. Is this the right measurement, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Good job you're here, because I would just chuck the whole carrot in my mouth. Yeah. Mm. Are you going on, going on any holidays, do you know? I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> carrot go in. Mm. I think we should wash up while we're going. Mm. Carrot cake. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you know we're making carrot cake, then, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. I'll make a sweet <laughs> mess. That is why you've come round to do it here. So we didn't make a mess in Aaron's kitchen. <laughs> right. Oh, oven. Oven on. What does it need to be on? Mm. Um, bake 180 or 350 F, whatever. Oh, you can actually take it apart. Take what apart? The machine. What machine? Your operator. Oh, it's not a machine. <laughs> this is not a regular cheese machine that I've ever used before. It's, we've had that since I was tiny. It's a vintage one then. It is a vintage one. I think we're going to get more than 12 out of this. I think so too. Maybe and again, my mum said, I used to say to my mum, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. She went, you can stuff it. Mm. Right. right, do any of these look 
less full than others. No, they all look fine. I don't know why you're asking me because I wouldn't even say no. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of myself, bacon. Oh, you don't great, the <laughs> carrot. <laughs> I'm so proud. They might come out shit because I've done it. No. I was like, Erin, sorry, I didn't bake them. Do you know what? If they turn out really good, can you imagine my big head? I'm thinking, thanks, babe. This is the first time I've ever. And if they come out crap, you'll be like, it was Katie that done them. <laughs> uh, I'm like, oh, sorry. Like, oh, I hate these. Right. Have I turned this on, by the way? Let me film you. Look at them. Cupcakes. You can buy cake, Yeah, I don't think she's looking to buy. Now we're just doing the ice and sugar. One sec. Now we're going to do the walnuts. This just is one on each, I would. Really? Yeah. No, 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 no. This is my favourite bit because I know how to place it on. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Not bad for first time baking, I think. Oh, I bet some of you are thinking, well, she didn't do that much. to try our so. carrot cake that we made. What do you think? Oh, she's not pulling a good face, so. Mm -hmm. Really, yum, yum, yum. That's good. Is it? So we have passed our bacon. Mm. 